Hey guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to make an animated bar chart race. You can really easily create one of these with your own data in just a few minutes. Here's one that I made. It's of the market capitalization, or market value, of these five big tech companies. Creating the animation itself requires no code and can be done quite easily. However, in this video I'll explain how I was able to fetch, scrape, and clean the data. But if you're only interested in the visualization aspect, feel free to skip ahead to that part. Fetching and cleaning the data in R wasn't too difficult. First, I loaded in some libraries, rvest to web scrape, tidyquant to fetch stock data, tidyverse, lubridate, string R, and reshape2 for data wrangling, cleaning, and formatting. I wasn't able to find a data source that could give me historical market capitalizations over time, so I had to individually get the stock prices and the outstanding shares to manually calculate the market caps. I first started by getting the outstanding shares. I found this website, Macro Trends, that had the data for each company by quarter, then it was just a matter of scraping them into R. I used the rvest library and HTML table command to very easily get the data into a data frame. I actually have a video on this if you're looking for a more in-depth explanation. Anyway, once I had the outstanding shares for each company, I just needed the stock prices. For that, I used the tidyquant library in R, which allowed me to get the daily stock prices all the way back to the company's IPO. With the help of a few functions, I joined the stock prices data frame with the outstanding shares data frame and created a column to calculate the market cap. I then joined these five data frames, one for each company, into one giant data frame so I could see all the company's data. And then lastly, I did some data cleaning, I pulled out the quarter and the year, and I called the T command to transpose the data from rows into columns, because that's how the app we're using prefers the data. If you're interested in seeing the code, I'll have a link to that in the description as well. Finally, I exported my data frame as a .csv, I then moved to the Flourish web app to create the visualization. Once your data is all ready, you'll need to head over to the Flourish web app. I have a link in the description. When you're on the page, go ahead and click Create Visualization. You'll need to make an account, but once you're past that step, an example visualization will load up. At the top of the screen, there's a tab for data, and if you click on that, you can see the underlying data the racing bar chart is drawing from. I'm going to click Upload Data and plug in the CSV I just exported from R. On the right side of the screen, there's a panel that says select columns to visualize. You'll need to configure which columns have your labels, values, and optionally categories and images. Once I configured that, I did a bit more data cleaning to rename the labels, remove the top row that was unused, and I added icons for the different companies. Flourish is a great out-of-the-box solution for these visualizations and does have some customizability. I went back to the preview tab and played around with the settings. I picked custom bar colors, changed the image settings, made the x-axis fixed instead of dynamic, formatted some of the text, and then finally added a header and a subheader. Once I was happy with my visualization, I named it and clicked export and publish at the top to share it. You also have the option of downloading it as an image for free or downloading the HTML if you pay for premium features. Anyway, I could then share the visualization by link or screen record it. So that pretty much wraps up the video. Creating these animated bar charts are really easy and can essentially be created without typing any code as long as you have the right data set. There is some customizability in terms of aesthetics, so I'd recommend just playing around with it until you get the result that you want. I hope this video was helpful and if you have any questions or feedback, definitely leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.